Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to do another product review. This time what I'm going to be doing is a product review of a tortilla press. I'm going to start making fresh tortillas. Never done this before. So this is going to be fun. I'm going to learn a few different recipes. I am going to <clears throat> initially start with the regular traditional masa flour, I think it's called. Um, it's a cornmeal, it's a, it's a finer cornmeal that um, is used for making tortillas. So I'm going to start with that. I plan on uh, working my way into almond flour and a few other types that I think I'm going to work with to try to see, make up some low carb um, options also. Because right now, like I said, I, a lot of people don't know about it, or some do, but I've been doing an intermittent fasting thing. And I've kind of moved into an OMAD type mode. And where that is, is just one meal a day. Uh, in the evening time, I just enjoy eating at the evening time and it's really easy for me. So I've been doing that and with that, I've been allowed to eat pretty much anything I want. So I have been. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing this for a while. But anyway, I'm going to make some fresh corn tortillas probably this weekend. So here's the unboxing. I'm going to turn this off and put it back down to the board. You'll see me unbox it. Um, when I actually start doing it, I'll make a video to add to this and we'll put it all in one. Okay, folks, here we are, and this is the device, and I bought it off of, of uh, Amazon. It came out of China, which really kind of surprised me because it's mostly a Latin-type uh, device, but it's a de-ice 8-inch cast iron, um, and it has an instructional guide to come with it, too. So let's open this up. It's packaged really well, it does rattle a bit. Um, this I got on Amazon, and I will um, eventually get to the point where I uh, put a link on there for everybody um, of stuff that I, I buy, so you can see what I'm getting. Um, and if you wanna buy it, you'll be able to buy it too, type thing. I need some technical assistance when I do that. So anyway, I've got some uh, plastic around this, plastic wrap, so that's nice. Kept it, you know, moisture free, or at least somewhat. And a piece of cardboard and our instructions. Oh, look at this. It even gives you starter things to work with for your press. So that's good. I really like. Now, that part of this whole thing right there impresses me the most, right there, that they gave me that to go with this. So. Um, so I, I wouldn't have to worry about buying something extra just so I could oops, just so I could try this out. So I'm glad that that happened. So that's good. Okay, and here's our handle that just rolled off my board onto my quartz countertop, no less. Oops, they're pretty strong though, so it should be okay. Well, let's take a look at this. Here's where the, the front is. And that's the press part. Um, has a nice surface to it. I will say this top surface has a um, kind of an uneven look to it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera very well compared to the bottom surface. Bottom surface is absolutely nice. I mean, there's little pits in it, but it's cast iron. Um, this top section, I don't know, almost is like the mold was not correct or really poured or something that time. But we'll see how it works because the proof is in the pudding. If it works, that's really all I'm looking for. So let's look, we got our directions that we got with us. Oh, this is the using guide. So we need that one. So we got to have the assembly guide. Hmm. We got a care guide. And we got seasoning steps so I can season this because I'm going to have to season this too, it looks like. I thought it was pre seasoned, but um, that's not a real big deal. That's not a hard thing to do at all. Um, hmm. Let's see how this goes together. It appears that, and they don't give you any instructions to do this. Now, granted, it's not super difficult. It is pretty pretty obvious and self-evident what needs to happen here. But I don't know if everybody thinks that way. But anyway, here's the handle. And it came with a stainless steel bolt and wing nut. And here's the handle. That's just going to go in like so. I can already see where it goes. But I can also tell you right here there's like a blemish on this too. So it's almost like they coated this with something and it's partially coming off. Um, I have to say that's not an impressive thing to me. And, okay, so that goes through pretty easily. And this is going to screw on here like so. Now, 
one of the things I'm, I'm going to be pretty positive about is that this is going to have to be um, taken apart when I go to season. You are not going to want these stainless steel parts going into the oven. Uh, I don't think they do any damage to it, but I can't be positive, swear to it positively. So I'm going to make sure I take that all apart and disassemble it. And uh, to season this, it's real not difficult. You lightly oil it, and then we're going to be putting it in the oven. We're going to bake it for a while. Um, I'm going to have to look up and see what they're recommending for theirs. Well, I'm here. Let's do this. It says heat press for 15 minutes in a 200 degree oven to, um, to open its pores. So you do that first before we even put the, apply the oil onto it. Um, then it's telling me to place one tablespoon of flaxseed oil in a pan. Now, just so you know, you can use any any of the like a vegetable oil. Uh, olive oil has got a really low smoke point, so I think I'd use something like maybe a vegetable oil or a um, probably a grapeseed oil because they have a higher flash point and it would just work better, I think. Um, you go ahead and you rub it. So what you do is, and you're just going to take your oil, pour it onto here. So I already have oil here. Pour the oil, take your, rub it all over it. So just so we can see how this looks like, that's how it works. I'm going to season this and uh, I guess I might as well tape this too while I'm doing it so you can see what I do. It's really not difficult to do. Um, we're going to be preheating our oven to 200 degrees. And here. So you can see the oven. And I'm going to preheat it to 200 degrees. So once that gets preheated to 200 degrees, I will be back. But in the meantime, I'm going to um, get my stuff ready to do this. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So... We've got grapeseed oil out. I'm going to show you how to take this apart. It's real easy. I've heated up the oven to 200 degrees. So the first step of this is that we're going to take this apart. Like so. And then like so. So here are our two parts. We've got a little bolt and a big bolt and two wing nuts and they're all stainless steel so that's good and these three things this is not going to have to go inside the oven that doesn't need to be sealed but these two do so i've got this at 200 degrees and as you can see i've got them in the oven we're going to go ahead and close that up and then we'll be right back Okay, we're back. <clears throat> we had these in the oven. We put them in there for at 200 degrees for 15 minutes. Keep in mind that we're only going to be putting oil on these two surfaces. The inside surfaces don't need it. It's just these top surfaces. So with that, I've got grapeseed oil. So we're going to use grapeseed oil. Like I said, I wanted to use a high heat. And uh, what we're going to be doing, I need a little more now. We're going to turn our oven up to 500 degrees. Now, with that, what that's going to do is we're going to season these. So we're putting the oil on it really lightly. That's all we're doing. We do not want to stick in any way, shape, or form. Just nice, lightly surfaces. So, as I get this done, I'm going to have the oven at 500 degrees, which I've already preset. I'm going to place these into the oven, and it's going to go in there for one hour. I'm going to let it, um, after one hour, I'm going to turn the heat off, and I'm going to let it sit in for two hours. Now, the directions in here set a half hour or an hour, um, but I've seasoned many pans over the time, and you want to put them at about 500 degrees and run it for about an hour, <clears throat> then just turn the heat off and just let it sit. And you're going to let them go for about two hours till they get back down to regular temperature, like room temperature. So, you can see what I've done. I did warm these up at 200 degrees. They're not hot, hot. I mean, you can pick them up and not burn your fingies. Um, so we're going to put these inside the oven. We're going to run it for, like I said, 500 degrees for one hour. When I get all done, I'll put these back together. You've seen me take it apart, so you'll know how we put it back together. And then I'll make some uh, tortillas with it, and we'll see how it goes. So we'll be back. Bye, everybody. I'm back. So um, I have seasoned the, the uh, device. So my tortilla maker is now seasoned. Um, worked out really well. 
really easy to do, super, super easy to do. Only takes a little while, um, and it's well worth the effort. Now, when I go to make tortillas, I will be using these, and um, these are a type of parchment paper that comes, a little round, and you put those between and squish it down through. So, um, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together, and a little, you watch me do it, so I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see it going on. Uh, <clears throat> it's real easy to do. I mean, I, I looked at this thing, and there's really not a whole lot to it. So, we're gonna take the large screw, or bolt rather, and that bolt's going to go through here. And all you got to do is just line it up. And that's how, and it sits like that when it's all done. So this is a really, oops, that one went flying. So we will pick that up because that went a little far. I got a tile floor. <laughs> that stainless steel, uh, not hit that floor. One moment here. Ah. I found it. The little guy didn't go as far as I thought. So, we got that side done. Now we're going to put, set that down. And we're going to put the handle on. So, and this is the handle that goes down. So it goes just like so. Again, we're going to lay it in place. And then slide it through. And then put the other wing on. In that fast it is now all put together so um, nice device well built solid I would recommend it um, this is called the de-ice so it's a de-ice tortilla press so um, if you see one on Amazon and you're looking for one I can recommend this one this is a does a good job so thanks for watching um, stay tuned I will have more videos coming up I uh, got a lot of stuff for Christmas. Stuff I bought. <laughs> Nobody buys me presents. Anyway, I am going to um, start doing some more product reviews. So I've got, I don't know, nine, ten things I'm going to do here in the next week or so. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Talk to you later.